So, so tell me, you have a pretty interesting story about how you and your husband met? Yes. Are we, are we ready? Yep, I'm ready for it. <laughs> yes, Richard and I met. And uh, it was after Valentine's Day. I remember that well because I had received about four boxes of candy from other guys, but I met him after, but he enjoyed eating the candy. We met at a, a dance at the, uh, that was called Morris Field back in 1952. Uh -huh. He was, a real good-looking guy in uniform, and I wasn't going to dare look his way, but I did walk in front of him several times, and then he, we danced. It was square dance, so every, you dance with everybody. And during that little twirl, he said, I'm taking you home. Well, I had a date, but I knew that I could arrange that. We met. We. Uh, decided to get married uh, <clears throat> because he was, had his orders to go overseas to Korea. After nine days, we were married at York. So those marriages do last. And everybody said it wasn't going to last, but I was determined that it would. However, I have no advice except, I think if you marry someone that you have a lot in common with, if you're Christian, and if you uh, are determined and you don't really know what it means to be divorced. And so that's the only advice that I have is to be as honest as you can with each other and it, will, it can work for you. 66 years, March 5th, uh, we will ha have been married 66 years. Congratulations. That's awesome. You did great. You did great. Now you ready? You ready?